And in a city that has so many um, extra resources, we have an abundance of resources, there's no reason why we shouldn't be paying people what they need to be paid in order to live here. So the process started for me back in um, 2016, and that's just building on, you know, work that, again, people in the community have started. Um, but just really being clear on, like, this is just on a non-negotiable list, um, that this is the least that we can do. Um, I know that before... Uh, Mayor Walker came on council. Um, I was talking about it, and, and Kristen Sekos was talking about it in the summer guards, and we were inching and getting a little bit. And then when she first came on, um, she was throwing it out there. And then I'm kind of like, all right, I can't leave her on the island. All right, I'm with it. I'm, I'm with her too. And we, you know, we, we inched a little bit further. And then people were still giving us a great deal of pushback. And honestly, I didn't quite get it at first. You know, we got to, I think it was 1369. 1379 at first and honestly I'm like oh well hey since we won like you know hey we we never done nothing like this we won and she's like no well, that's like that ain't that ain't enough who who can take care of their family or take care of themselves on 1379 and when I took a step back and, and thought about it in that regard she was absolutely right but we had so much pushback not only from our fellow colleagues on council but staff from community members saying, you know, what does a, a quote unquote lifeguard who only works in the summer need to get paid $15 an hour for? Why do they need to get paid so much? And what I really think the underhanded language was in that was that they knew the populations that we were working with and they knew we were getting towards providing equity in this regard to the underserved communities. And what was people were really saying is we know y'all want to give those folks who don't deserve this amount of money this dollar or this pay wage. And I think how I was able to get them to shift from a no is that I came in, one, as an employee who had connections with other employees so I could tell the stories of the single mom who was working multiple jobs um, to support her two kids because she couldn't, she wasn't earning a living wage. And I could tell the story of um, the high school graduate who worked full time at UVA and at the um, in a temporary position of the city because they did not have enough resources to, um, you know, to live on and needed multiple jobs. And so, you know, there were when we started, the pay was ten dollars and ninety five cent an hour that went to eleven seventeen then to 1379 and then to the um i think it was a third jump there was a 1440 in there too <laughs> i have to figure out <laughs> but 1440 and then the 15 dollars an hour i know it's not enough it's not significant and that's one of the reasons why i push for the navigators and home to hope to earn um 18 because it's closer to what a base wage should be her fortitude and resiliency, as we said, is here. And to, to answer your question, no, it's not enough. With the rising prices of just the cost of living here in our city, I mean, when I think about my sister and her and herself, like like my mayor, like she has to wake up at 4.30 every morning and when she's going to work a job from 5 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And that's not even talking about all the work she does on council, but let's just say she was only working that job. And she has three children, she takes care of all kind of folks who come in the neighborhood. All you got to do is knock on the door. She's going to bring you in and she's going to make sure your hands are sanitized first. But, you know, she, she, she's going to bring you in. She's going to take care of all kind of people, children, and she has to make that work. She reminds me a lot of like my aunt who was, a, you know, a, and my grandmother for that matter, who was like my grandmother's house was the house for the community. And they have to make that work for the whole community on this small amount of money. That's not fair. So $15 isn't enough. We gotta figure out how we can get that wage higher, how we get those wages higher, because we know the cost of living isn't coming down lower. And in a city that has so many um, extra resources, we have an abundance of resources, there's no reason why we shouldn't be paying people what they need to be paid in order to live here.
In 96, we was in the S's parking lot I'm not a talker, so you never hear me talk a lot I'ma tell the story of what happened back then It's the story of some enterprising black men Y'all remember when Estes used to be jumping The vendors out and somebody had the beats bumping My man Papers, yeah he got the mixtapes The fly gear from up top, yo what up Dave Ronnie Anderson over on the chessboard I seen some cats